Okay, this is really interesting, but does murder actually fit the medical facts? How would they have done it? Well, there is a possibility. Poison. It was back in the summer of 1926 at a New York charity show organized by a friend of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle that Houdini's life starts to unravel. First, he damages his right kidney, attempting to beat his straitjacket escape record. Later that same day, Harry begins complaining of stomach aches. The pains become severe enough for him to cancel engagements. At the time, it was blamed on food poisoning. But there may have been not just one, but two other explanations. The onset of his appendicitis and the spiritualist's favorite poison, arsenic. Arsenic, odorless, tasteless, deadly. The perfect poison with which to dispatch your enemies. Criminal activity associated with poison dates all the way back to the Romans. In 82 BC, the statesman Lucius Cornelius Sulla passed the first known law against poisoning in an attempt to end a spate of assassinations. What's surprising about arsenic, though, is that it used to be considered quite safe in small doses. It was even trialed as a cure for bubonic plague at one point. And during much of the 19th century, it was used in cosmetics and as a vibrant green dye for wallpaper and fabrics. The Royal Pharmaceutical Society claimed that it was possible to purchase arsenic as easily as Epsom salts. While cheerfully using the poison as a colorful additive, the Victorians also used it for more nefarious activities. Women especially seemed fond of poisoning unwanted family members who stood in the way of handy life insurance policies. This was such a problem that arsenic was dubbed the inheritance powder. In 1851, during a debate in the British House of Lords on the Arsenic Act legislation, they even tried to forbid just women from buying arsenic. My expert analytical chemist, Dr. Rachel Burks, has been exploring the mystery of Houdini's stomach pains. Identifying what poison or infection is inside a body can be really difficult. Why is that? The human body is full of thousands and thousands of chemicals, and we could potentially be looking for just one. And in this case, there's no autopsy report. There isn't, but there's other information that can provide good clues. If Houdini was suffering from food poisoning, he would possibly feel abdominal pain, which could be quite severe, fever, possibly vomiting. What if he was suffering from a deliberate poison, say arsenic? Well, arsenic poisoning is interesting. If administered in toxic doses, the clinical features of arsenic poisoning initially relate to the gastrointestinal system. These are all the symptoms that Houdini said that he had and was suffering from. So is it possible that the arsenic poisoning could also have triggered his appendicitis? Nausea, vomiting, all the classic signs of appendicitis. So appendicitis caused by arsenic? Exactly. Well, remember, with Houdini, we don't have the autopsy report, so I don't think we can rule out anything. Well, a properly trained doctor would have been able to spot the difference. Problem is, Houdini refused to see a doctor. 